by six other than being a witness to the angle and the document have nothing to do with the incident to start. Hey, backseaters, if uh, you're just joining us for this little very short live on patrol, we just had a shooting incident down at 505 Rice Street, St. Paul Police Department. Sounds like it's a minor injury. Better, very minor injury, and um, they've detained a couple parties trying to figure out if they're related or not. Thank you. So, uh, well, just let me give you a little summary. There's been some activity over in Minneapolis. Some armed robbery over there at 300 Knox Avenue, 300 block of Knox. Suspect vehicle over there was a white Hyundai. Here's the license plate if you see this car. Armed robbery, the Minnesota plate 802 9 Alpha Delta 8029 Alpha Delta AD. It's a 2013 white Honda Elantra. Love to find that vehicle over there if you're in Minneapolis. So, obviously, last night, the night before, we had some shooting incidents in, uh, well, Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Center area, and then again at St. Louis Park. So, the western, uh, Part of the Twin Cities been been pretty busy, but we over here in the east, not too bad. Not too bad. Just uh, trying to keep our seventy-five kids from negative. Thank you. Too many more crime. But hey, here's the real reason I'm saying Mike Martin, Mighty Mike, is going to be live today at 1.30. 1.30 for the start of the eclipse. And you can see it's very cloudy here up in Minnesota. So we are not going to get much view of the eclipse in Minnesota. But some of you backseaters are. And so while he's, while he's riding around out there, post on there if you're having any luck. This is Eclipse Day from 1.30 Central Time to 2.30 Central. Going to probably end up really 3.30 Eastern in Maine. But 1.27 today, it'll, the total eclipse will enter Texas. If you're in Mexico on vacation, you might be seeing it already. But 1.27 p.m. it'll enter Texas. And 3.30 Eastern Time. It'll be leaving Maine. So really only in the United States for about an hour change. But I think the eclipse travels at about 1,300 miles per hour. So they did, once they tried to keep up with the eclipse in a jet. So of course that exceeds the speed of sound but 1300 miles per hour the shadow will move across the United States only being here for you know, I don't know hour and 15 minutes it might be more like 1800 miles from Texas to New York but Leave us some messages while Mike's on live on patrol because obviously we're not going to see the eclipse. Or Normally we'd see 70% of it here in Minnesota. 70% of the eclipse in Minnesota. But based on our cloud cover, we're not going to see any. Cannondale, I see the Weather Channel is going to have a, a, a team down in Cannondale, one of our employees. Drove down there, who shall remain nameless, in Southern Country Illinois. Hunter, Looks like it's going to be good viewing down there. Here at Como, Pennsylvania, Rice, and gray coat, jeans, hoodie. But here's my other request. Those of you that are Facebook, Facebook backseaters, you know that we are 
very close to having a quarter million followers of subscribers. Quarter million subscribers on YouTube. A quarter million is a big number, 250,000. So if you are a YouTube follower, <clears throat> if you could do us a favor and help us hit the quarter million mark by getting your friends to help subscribe, or if you're not a subscriber, most of our YouTube viewers are not actually subscribed. We know that from our, our statistics, analytics. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you are listening. If you wouldn't mind helping us reach the 250,000 mark, that would be amazing. And we want to reach it on the day of the eclipse, preferably before the eclipse leaves the United States at 3 o'clock, 3.30. So help us get some sub subscribers. Keep in mind, the moon is 240,000 miles from the Earth. Obviously, the sun is 93 million miles. But when the moon gets in front of the sun, that's when we get the total eclipse. 240,000 miles away from the Earth, it leaves a perfectly... It's ironic how large the sun is. Actually, the sun is huge compared to the moon. But because of the moon's proximity to us, it essentially shadows the entire moon for that period of time. Just for like three or four minutes in each area. So um, we want to remember the eclipse as the time we hit a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. And how far away are we? We're 250 subscribers away. We're 250 subscribers away from 250,000. So what's that mean? We have one-tenth of a percent left, right? Something like that. Yeah, a tenth of a percent to get there. So there's no special award or anything for a quarter million subscribers, but you just, Pat and I think it'd be kind of cool to hit it on the day of the eclipse. So we're on Rice Street up in Little Canada's on our left, Roseville's on our right. A lot of rain last night here in the Twin Cities. If you're wondering the temperature, it's 46 degrees. Again, if you just joined us, the eclipse is going to hit the United States 127 Central Time in Texas. It's going to work its way from Texas across the United States, Illinois, Indiana, and over to Maine. Some of the best viewing might be in Carbondale, where the Weather Channel has a great crew out there. So take a look at the Weather Channel. They have like 10 reporters along each possible route. And Mighty Mike Martin will be out during the eclipse. You know, even if, even if we don't see the eclipse, it'll become somewhat dark here. 70% blockage here in Minnesota. So it'll be fun to see how dark it gets here in Minnesota and we want you to put your put your uh, comments in the comments while Mike's out there and then after Mike's done if you can send us pictures any pictures you've taken of the eclipse while Mike was out there I don't think you can post pictures while we are um, actually live but you can post them as soon as the live is over so that's our goal. Mike will see you about 1.30. What is it? It's 11.15 right now, Central Time. Mike will be here in an hour and 15. So have a great day, backseaters. Have a great, have a great eclipse.
Just double checking to make sure we're live and we are. All right, backseaters, welcome back. Do you want this somewhere else? No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, welcome back. It's Monday. I believe it's April 8th. It's Eclipse Monday. It's Eclipse Monday. So um, we have a very special show today. But before we get going, here's what I need you to do. I need... I'm gonna wait for a little bit till we get some more uh, back seaters on here. And then I have a special request for you today. But we have uh, our educational broadcast will be more educational than usual today because it's eclipse day. Even though it's very cloudy here in Minnesota, um, we sent a special correspondent down to Southern Illinois to, to give us the play-by-play -play of the, the eclipse. And uh, we will be going to him in a, in a few minutes. Um, but first off, we are about to eclipse 250,000, a quarter million, subscribers on YouTube so if you're watching us on YouTube right now do me a favor and quick subscribe to um, live on patrol in Ramsey County and we are very close to reaching a quarter of a million subscribers and if we reach a quarter of a million there's a special treat. If it happens today, while we're live on patrol. Yeah, reference, uh, if it's today. Back after being released. Uh, we're gonna have, maybe we'll let them decide between a couple options. Okay. Um, and, but we will have a, a, uh, a reward for subscribing today. So we're like 200 subscribers away from a quarter of a million. So we need you to go subscribe on YouTube, call all your friends, share it with them, and have them subscribe because we want to eclipse the quarter million mark on our subscribers. What do you think, Steve? You think we can do it? Yeah, I think we can. I, I, because here's the key to it. It's pretty simple. Everybody listening on YouTube right now, you know five people. Reach out to those five. Send them a text. Get on the phone and say, listen, right now, go on YouTube and subscribe to Live on Patrol. And make sure it's the Live on Patrol, not, not any of the other ones, but the Live on Patrol is the one we're targeting Call five people, you know, and tell them, hey, sign up. We can meet that 200, 160 more people. We'll do it during this educational broadcast. And then Mike's got a surprise for you guys. So uh, for those of you who uh, are new to this, uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> for those of you who are new to this, uh, we are in Ramsey County. We're with the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office. I'm under Sheriff Mike Martin, and I'm with Director Steve Lydon. And we are in the city of St. Paul right now, the capital city of the state of Minnesota. And soon we are going to be going to our correspondent in southern Illinois to get uh, a play-by-play -play of the eclipse. It's cloudy here. Um, and we're not supposed to have the total eclipse here. Um, and just so you know, I've, I don't know about you, have you ever seen one? I have. You have? Yes, I have okay. seen one. We had to have two pieces of paper and you poke the hole in one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And, Cause you can't look right at it. It's not, it's, it's obviously bad to look right at the sun, right? Yeah. That's but what I was they probably tell me. 11. You know what I heard yesterday though? What's that? that 
animals are smart enough to know I'm not to. Sure. So they don't need glasses. I bought all those glasses for my dog. <laughs> God I know. darn it. I know, me too. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I remember doing that. I think it was in junior high school. Yeah, I was but in I saw oh, yeah. it. I, not too long ago, last year, I saw a total of eclipse. I haven't made one since I was little. And, and to be honest with you, our correspondence early, I'm talking three, four months ago, was excited about this, telling me about it, and started looking to make arrangements and was a little frustrated. He thought he was ahead of the, the game. And there already is a lot of hotels filled up, the RVs rented just for the eclipse. Yeah. A lot of people around the country locking into this so some people may ask how did i see a total eclipse last year yeah it was a mitsubishi eclipse someone ran into it it was totaled <laughs> and uh that's that's the only totaled eclipse i've ever seen yeah this is a this is gonna be a different type of eclipse mike <laughs> oh oh someone's calling someone's watching from romania holy oh cow i mean I hope that doesn't get us in trouble with the, you know, FBI or something. Well, let's call our correspondent. All right, give and him a see, holler. See what's going on here. Hopefully, this will all work. Oh, that's not the one I want. I got it. Just let me know if I crash. Okay. he recognizes this number. Whoa! Whoa, is this our correspondent? Dick Donaldson, live from Mount Vernon, down. Illinois. Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, Mount Vernon, Illinois. We sent our correspondent down to the see the eclipse and describe it to us. What's the weather like there? Uh, we have 95% clear skies with wispy cirrus clouds, uh, elevation 42,000 feet with a plane flying over right now. Uh, the uh, eclipse is almost uh, 7 eighths percent covered right now. You just get a loomy feeling because you're just, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's kind of opaque out. Is that a word? Opaque? It's kind of, yes. it's a strange feeling. All right. There's, What's, there's, are there a lot of howling? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> animals are working. Uh, animals are getting restless. Are they? I see a turkey vulture flying over. So we're six hundred and eighty-one miles away from your location right now. Wow. I, yeah. you, a lot of people are familiar with Bill uh, Nye, the Science Guy, but you're oh, yeah. Jim Moody. The, you know, we're a step we're a step up from that. All the experience that I've had with this kind of stuff. Yeah. I could go on, but there's not enough time. You guys got crime to fight up there? Well, you know, we have crime to fight, but you know, this only rolls around a few times in a lifetime. Oh uh, yeah, the next one's what, twenty forty five. Two zero four five or Really? Twenty forty five. I'm Pretty sure I'll still be around, but I'll be a <laughs> yeah, cantankerous yeah, right. sure. old pain in the booty. So, sure, well, with that lifestyle you lead of non drinking, Mike, my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if he exactly. doesn't live until 2045, it'll just feel like he did. <laughs> so, so, what am I there, missing up there? Are there other people staring uh, at well, the sky? In Mount Vernon. At Mount Vernon, we picked a church, and there's only four other groups at this church. But uh, we, downtown, the museum was covered. Traffic traffic between uh, Chicago and Indianapolis was bumper to bumper and almost to a stop from time to time. Oh, how bad. So, so we veered off and uh, went to uh, Mount Vernon. All right. So, so we all beautiful know. Beautiful little community. We all know during the, the total eclipse that the moon appears the same size as the sun and it blocks out. You're going to see the total eclipse, is that right, uh, Professor Moody? Uh, Roger that. We, we have three minutes and 30 seconds of total, total, uh, 
total darkness, supposedly. Uh, that's I'll, what the that's what the maps say. I heard our that uh, your producer Sabrina's there too, keeping an eye. My what? Your producer. Uh, yeah. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. That's awesome. So yeah. So we have just a little sliver left. What time is it right now? One forty-six. One. One forty-eight, according to. Uh, One forty-eight. One forty-eight. Yeah. Sounds like four to five minutes of total darkness coming. Awesome. Mount Vernon, there's not a whole lot of people. We we came off the highway and drove from Mount Vernon, and uh, the roads were pretty clear. You picked a really not good. That like, doesn't surprise me with your superior knowledge of how things work in the solar system. You would also figure out where the least amount of people would be to interfere with your ability to observe this total eclipse. Well, I've had my crack meteorologist crew working on it for weeks now, so <laughs> they actually hit it right on the head. So, awesome. uh, yep. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh oh, we're down to. Uh, if you pictured a little, you have about. We're we're getting close here. It's now just probably seven eighths covered right now. Seven eighths. Seven what is that eights. decimal point? I don't that's know. One, that's like a. That's, 0.125 times 7, which would be 7 times, that would be 8.25% covered. Uh, it amazes me what the math, percent. it amazes me the math you can do in your head. Just, I'm telling you, that well, you schooling's know. paying off. I know, Madison is a great school. Learned a lot down there. I won't get into how much I learned <laughs> and what I learned, but, but I learned a lot. Well, yeah. obviously, great people in your class. I know uh, Rocky Patel was one of your roommates, uh, so you both have Rocky succeeded Patel, well. yep. Rocky Patel is a roommate. I have a steady stream of cigars coming up north from uh, from Florida, so that's good. Rocky, if you're listening, yeah, right. So, so we, we need... Here's what we're doing today. Uh, we are only about 100 subscribers away on... Uh, YouTube and we need those people to subscribe on YouTube we're trying to yep. eclipse a quarter of a million Holy subscribers smokies. on YouTube I know I'm pretty sure wow. that's that's kind of we're at the level with Taylor Swift probably and, and the <laughs> you know, every time I think of live on patrol, I think of Taylor Swift <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, professor what what uh, what encouragement would you have for our subscribers to reach out to their friends, anyone watching on YouTube, to make sure they subscribe right now before the total eclipse is over? Well, I would say, yeah, you got about three minutes to probably hear a couple Effenheimers and some old Mys probably coming from me because I've never experienced one. But a buddy of mine golfing, uh, a buddy of mine golfing went seven years ago to the last one in 2017 and said it was amazing. Oh, that's awesome. I know one so, of our uh, guys, who I won't mention his name, one of our undercover guys, rented a camper, uh, a campsite down there. To, oh, really? With his family, yeah, to watch it. Do you so, know where they went? Uh, I think he said Arkansas. Holy smokes. But I may be off. I, we talked about it like a month ago. Well, gotcha. So, gotcha. Anyway, we are not going to be able to see anything probably here today because it's so cloudy. Is it raining too or what? It, it's drizzling a little, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. But uh, we're, we're, uh, we're plugging away. Yeah, I feel sorry for the people that thought, well, I'll get partially clips and they kept the kids out of school and they've got their telescope set up and they're sitting on a nice hill in St. Paul, right, right. Paul, Minnesota being drizzled down with complete cloud, cloud cover. It's not going to happen here. So that's yeah, why... I don't think you could ask for better weather down here. That's why your vivid, vivid description is what we're <laughs> relying on today. Plus your oh, scientific boy. astrological knowledge. Is it well, astrological? Yeah, I think so. I think... Yeah, that sounds all right. Isn't that yeah. what my horoscope is? Is that one yeah. of my horoscope? Yeah, so, what uh, sign are you? <laughs> I'm a cancer. Oh, cancer. geez. Yeah. That sounds scary. <laughs> so, yeah, we're uh, we're getting right down to the nitty-gritty here. How, how, uh, how covered is the moon now? 
The sun, the sun is. Uh, or, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a, it was 90, a trick question to see if you were paying attention. Ninety-five percent covered right oh, now. Geez. Oh, is it getting dark? Yeah, yeah it's getting weird. Yep. Yep. Did you bring a flashlight? <laughs> it's gonna be interesting when. Oh, it's it's going now. Oh. It's almost done. It's just a little strip. Wow. Taking pictures. Here we go. Well, I tried with my phone. It didn't beam. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you get yeah, to experience cool. it. Yeah. There's still just a little, a little rim left. Wow. That's awesome. With my personal well, experience, I'm in the dark most of the time anyhow, so I don't know if I noticed the difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is, so this is normal. Yeah. Uh, so, we, we were a little worried that you tricked us and maybe this was like the ball drop and you'd have, you know, a couple spheres and cover each well, other, but... I'm actually sitting in my living room right now, but don't tell him. <laughs> put, it, put it on mute. Yeah. <laughs> Watching it on TV. <laughs> I know. Just don't, drive by, just don't drive by my house right now. I, I know better. Because no, I, I. I'm just watching it on TV. Yeah, I know. We know you better than that. You are. You went down there. I, I When I first heard they, they sent you to the location of the eclipse, I thought, I didn't know there was anyone going to the moon this week. Oh. <laughs> well, we were going to send him to the sun, but he's already hot enough. So the, we got total darkness down there, Jim? Uh, no, it's almost. All right, folks, let's get the subscriptions up. Let's yeah, get over 250,000 at the time of the eclipse and really get into the Guinness World Book of Records that we did it at the same time. We eclipsed 250,000 with the solar eclipse. And I know some of you tune in to watch us fight crime, but... Today, we sent out a memo to all the criminals telling them, don't mess around during the eclipse um, so so that we can, you know, enjoy the clouds <laughs> and the drizzle. <laughs> so, Yeah, I've got a buddy down in, I believe he's down in Florida, Phil Moret. He uh, told me he's going to take pictures and send them up to us, so we'll, we'll see oh, those good. a little bit later. He's retired from Oak Park Heights Correction Facility as a sergeant long career there your last little strip has taken a while wow just kind of fighting it off yep. there huh yep explain to us the science behind that could you well the thing is in front of the other thing and then that's <laughs> what you see <laughs> that's that's the beauty of you professor you have you have the knack to be able to explain very complicated scientific processes to the average individual <laughs> <laughs> and even us below average yeah. individuals. So, <laughs> well, you know, um, I wanted to. Let's see what we uh -huh. are. Some of our commenters, we got one in South Texas that got a little bit of it. Um, and uh, I don't know. Somebody's asking how they could come from Saudi Arabia to come here for a tour. Um, it's an immigration uh, question. Uh, I, I don't know immigration. Yeah. Um, how, so, while this is going on, subscribe on YouTube. I know a lot of people watch us on Facebook. We have uh, about 150,000 followers on Facebook. But we're trying to get over the 250,000 mark on YouTube. Uh, Dallas, Texas had an awesome eclipse. Uh, partial in San Diego. Who cares? You're in San Diego. Go to the beach. Sorry. I grew up there. I miss it. Uh, but uh, Southwest Minnesota. I don't know. So, I don't know. Somebody posted you're the best under sheriff, but I'm telling you, um, we just got back uh, Phil Babenroth today as an under sheriff. Great guy. Uh, begged him to come back. Uh, uh, that would be Dr. Phil. 
Baby Long. Oh, da it's, that's right. He's a PhD. Yeah, yeah. But don't go to him if you need your uh, appendix removed. Happy, thank you. Well, there is that, right? Yeah. Sydney, Australia. I don't know. Do you, do you get to see the eclipse in Sydney, Australia? That's a good question. You know, in Austin, you said somebody from Texas. So in Austin, Texas, the total eclipse will start about 1.36 p.m. local time. Indianapolis will be a total darkness about 3.06 p.m. local time. While Buffalo, New York, they're looking at it about 3.18 this afternoon. So as it crosses the country, everybody sees it at a different time. Is that because the um, world is spinning? The earth is spinning? Yeah, that's exactly right. It? Okay. <laughs> so, um, I have a feeling it's going to be total darkness here at about 7 p.m. What do you <laughs> What do you think, Jim? Well, I think we're down <laughs> to about a 97 percent darkness here. Really? It, did it did ever it get to a hundred? It will shortly here. Uh oh. Hang on. Uh oh. So I heard the birds think it's night, so they stopped chirping. Awesome. My co-pilot is showing a video from Carbondale, Carbondale Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. 1669 Metro. So Jim, are you seeing a a little ring of light all the way around the moon? Uh, I will in about uh, ten seconds, probably. Okay. That reminds me of your halo, Jim. That that shines above your head every day. For those of you who don't know our correspondent, who's in. Uh, Mount Vernon, Illinois, right now. We sent him down there for the eclipse. He, Holy uh, cow, guys. It's here. It's oh, here. Awesome. Describe it. Unbelievable. Wow. Is it crazy? Holy smokies. Unbelievable. That is the wildest looking thing. That's Unreal. awesome. Oh, man. Hang on. I got it. Try and take a picture here. Hang on. I think we may have just lost. Uh oh, I think our correspondent. We may be offline with him. He's taking a picture, uh, which we will post on the Live on Patrol um, website. We are watching. Uh, the eclipse uh, video of the eclipse right now from Carbondale, Illinois, which is, well, I don't know if it's close to Mount Vernon, but close enough. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to see much here. But we are on the east side of St. Paul right now. In case anybody's wondering, on Payne Avenue. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's uh, one of those things that you want to experience at least <laughs> once. Can yeah. you ma what, I can't imagine if you go back 300 years without the science, without the, the advanced knowledge, how scary it must have been in the middle of the day for something like this to happen when you didn't know anything about it. Oh, yeah, well, it... it you know, it tells you why people think it's a spiritual thing or it's, yeah. you know, the gods that are controlling it. And yeah, it would be scary if you didn't know what was going on. But that's why we have Jim Moody. It's exactly why we have you know people like Jim. So I think he may have gotten caught up in the rapture down there or something because he hasn't. He, yeah, he was. He was being. Uh, 
finding a, a uh, personal emotional with uh, the eclipse. Yes, he definitely was. I know I'll have an emotional experience if we eclipse the 250,000 mark. Yes. Oh, that truck almost took us out right there. That's the closest I've come to being getting hit by a semi in a long time. <laughs> if I'd have seen him coming, I'd have tried to back up a little bit. But I see. Should we try to call him back? Give him a try. I think he's uh, Very, very cool, though. That, well, that's, that's cool. Yeah, you sounded pretty emotional, so I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad we sent you down the there. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, can, that was crazy. You can be like our man of the street in the future. Maybe so, I'll just do that. Travel to, I'll just travel all different places all year. We'll send you to wherever the crime is. I'll, I'll you, put all my work aside and just do this. Oh, uh, wait a second. No, nah, we need you here. You're, you're, you're not only known as the uh, nicest guy in the sheriff's office, but you're also the, what's yeah, the, yeah. You're, you're like a <laughs> utility player in baseball. You can play any position. <laughs> so, not yours, Mike. Plumber. I've seen you, you do everything from plumbing, mechanics, electrical, uh, small. Yeah. Uh, well, now, watch now, repair. Now I'm looking at the eclipse because that's when I fell off. Like, well, now I'm just going to uh, need some help. Help. That's all right. <laughs> you were using oh, yeah. special glasses, <laughs> right, Jim? My face once went out. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I think I can still see. Well, don't oh, you I have a not. don't you have a seeing eye pair? out to five of your friends and we really got good results. Reach out to five more and ask them to reach out to five and let's get this over the top. This is a fantastic day in the history of Live on Patrol. So this morning I stopped at a little BP gas station that I stop at every morning Yeah. To get my vitamin water and uh, I talked to several people there and asked them to subscribe so that uh, we could beat this number so we are going to 50,000 a quarter million uh, subscribers on YouTube and then I'm pretty sure once that happens don't you get to sit like in the box with Taylor Swift at the Chiefs games or uh, I, what do you think? I think the restraining order still keeps me away from uh, 100 <laughs> 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 oh, so 
Hey, and another positive note, I did mention last week about uh, Sergeant Jerry Holman, retired from Minnesota Department of Corrections, uh, was going to have surgery last Wednesday on cancer. The surgery went fantastic, awesome. better than we could have hoped for. The doctors were happy. A lot of you reached out with wishes and prayers for Jerry, and he's asked me to extend a grateful thank you all for that, and he is recovering at home, doing really good. So uh, we got the eclipse today. We're going to get the subscribers up to 250,000, and your prayers were answered for Jerry Holman. So thank you, everybody. So basically, all the stars are aligning today. That, couldn't have said it better. So, man. yeah. So I don't know. What do you think our um, special gift to the backseater should be? We had talked about trying to figure out who was the the 250,000th subscriber, but that's too hard to do. I don't have that uh, computer knowledge to be able to figure out if we could, could identify that one person. But there was a um, there was a movie that Bruce Willis was in. Okay. Um, and he was after the bad guys, and he basically said, "When he gets the bad guys put away," and I'm paraphrasing, he would dance a little, a little dance, a little jig, and he got the bad guy. And all the cops on the street are down there, and they're looking up, and there he is dancing on top of the building. And Mike, I think you're a pretty talented dancer, if I hear right. Oh, no, no. He, no, that would just be, that might be ugly. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be a gift that all of the backseaters would appreciate. Um, well, I, I don't know. You don't want to see me dancing. It's it's not pretty. We're eastbound on Maryland, just uh, crossing Clarence, looking at the McDonald's on one side and a nice little strip mall on the other side. New apartment buildings going up. Wow. There used to be a uh, Mr. Donut shop there in an Arby's. Now it's an apartment building. Well, well, I don't know. Is that an upgrade? Well, you hate to see a donut. I'm telling you, you gotta, go away. although I'm trying to remember what, what the connection some local fast foods is partnering with Krispy Kreme. Oh, I heard that. Oh, McDonald's. I mean, when it comes to donuts, cops are experts, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. The young cops, you know, they eat they apples and carrots it. and stuff. I know. What's wrong with that celery? that know Mike's wife or have worked with Mike's wife in the Minneapolis Police Department, well, you would agree, you, you married above your, yourself. Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah. I out kicked my coverage, for sure. Yeah. So, anybody will tell you that. If, if you don't believe me, just go on my Facebook page. <laughs> uh, we got to go to the Chris Stapleton, Laney Wilson, I Marcus I King concert on Saturday night. Did he do Tennessee whiskey? He did Tennessee whiskey. It was his last oh, song. My favorite song. Oh, I love it. Love it. Nobody does it like he does it. No, he's got so many great songs. And Laney Wilson. Out of the park, although um, the sound in there isn't the greatest. Where were you? U.S. Bank Stadium. Oh, okay. Many times, and she won. Uh, I didn't really have any traffic. concerts I've ever seen. I'm saying a lot because. I've seen Eastbound is Highway 96 and Rice. Great. And the plate. Hotel Delta Uniform 605. I don't know if we. I, I can turn 96. this up now if you want. All right. But, um. 
So, I can't imagine the excitement of that concert compared to the excitement of the total eclipse Oof. would both be dwarfed by the excitement of reaching 250,000 subscribers to YouTube. I, yes, absolutely. I mean... Keep plugging was. away at it, folks. We're getting close. we got to get those numbers down. We're under 100 left to go. Let's get those subscribers. We need you to, to go on, subscribe on YouTube, and uh, push us over the, that limit. Um, our clerical staff just texted that uh, we have 78. 78 subscribers we need. You could be the one that pushes us over the edge. Our clerical staff's not that huh? Well, you know, <laughs> it's he's he's not here, so don't don't tell him I call them clerical staff. It's the sheriff. The key is that we're hitting it. 76 of people, come on! Subscribe to YouTube live on patrol. You won't miss the action. You'll get alerted. Sometimes we come on when you're not aware. I'm gonna need two Something will pop up. The sheriff will go live on patrol. Being a subscriber, you're gonna get that notice. You're gonna get that alert. You're gonna see the live action that's happening, whether it be a parade, a shooting, uh, some type of a high-speed chase, or a message that needs to get out to people. That's why you wanna be a subscriber. There are be benefits to be a subscriber rather than just logging in, because you miss the improv too broadcast. So I want to talk for a minute about uh, a shooting we had this weekend. Uh, Saturday night. Um, unfortunately, uh, there was a quinceanera for a young lady here at Aldrich Arena. And uh, some unwanted guests showed up and they were put out and they were angry, so they uh, shot into the crowd right outside the loading dock here. And unfortunately, an uh, innocent man was hit in the thigh. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. In the thigh. And uh, fortunately, it was not life threatening, but. 4045, how's your stuff? And. Uh, Excuse me, I kind of got the hiccups. The uh, Maplewood uh, Police Department did a tremendous job of responding. We are able to apprehend uh, the shooter and uh, ended up, uh, they some of his uh, associates wanted to fight with the cops. That didn't end well for the associates. And uh, they just did a tremendous job and I know uh, some of our deputies responded to help and uh, officers from several departments. So, and uh, I know the uh, officers here appreciated all the help. Um, usually there would be off duty deputies working here, but there weren't that many because the crowd didn't rise to the size that required it. So, I gotta drive down here and see if my buddies are outside, but I think they're probably in school. We're down to 47 people left. That's all we need. 47 more people. We're going to do it during this broadcast. We will eclipse the 250,000 mark. Oh. We're going to make a quarter million viewers with all of your help. Everybody out there, come on. Let's make some phone calls. Let's do some texting. Let's get there. Oh, there the kids are. Yeah, they always wave when we come by. That's awesome. The, uh... You guys are doing a fantastic job getting the word out recruiting subscribers keep it up we're almost there we really appreciate it. i feel like i'm on a, one of those old jerry lewis telethons i was thinking of right? the npr when i listened to them and they're, they're doing their fundraising oh but, i've but i get it it's when you're this close to reaching a milestone mark of a quarter million 
it, it is exciting. It's 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 something you want to be a part of. And forty-seven more people, 44, you got the chance to uh, do it. To the first few. That's so awesome. One third one. Helps Even spread uh, yeah. our education about what cops do, and um, hopefully, you learned a little bit about the uh, eclipse today. And we really appreciate all the support that we get. My mom's texting saying uh, that the live stream was kind of going out a little bit. Can you please and uh, you your case I think it's probably because of the eclipse. I, I'll go with think? that. I, I mean, I have no idea. I'm just making that up. But, you know, they talk about the sun flares. So, we are northbound on White Bear Avenue. We're going to go check a couple of our hot spots up here. Um, but make sure you subscribe. To the Live on Patrol Ramsey County YouTube page. Um, that way you'll get notified anytime that we go live, which can be sporadic sometimes because we don't know what our schedule is going to be uh, other than today. Um, because of the eclipse, we kind of scheduled it, but um, usually I'm out in the afternoons on Mondays, cat team. Uh, We'll frequently be out on Wednesday afternoons, and then Friday nights are uh, Bob and Pat, and usually I'm out, Nicole Sparks is out, uh, Darren McDonald's out, it's just, we may not all have cameras every time, but we're out working together, so... You know, we're right on the corner of Maplewood and Nurse, right on the edge between Maplewood and Nurse St. Paul. This is the area I grew up in. Um, seeing this development over over the years, you think back to the fields we used to play in, and it's all grown up now. What's the high V here? Yeah, there was no high V even four years ago. Yeah, they're pretty new. It wasn't there four years ago because I've been over here at Ramsey County now. Have you been there that long? Five. I don't know, maybe. I just don't remember it being built. Do you know when you, you got a lot of work to do? And you, it looks a little overwhelming when you start? Yeah. You, you're just not sure if you're going to get there. And I think back to when we started Live on Patrol, wondering how the educational programming would work and how receptive it would be. We're 17 short right now. 17. A quarter million. Uh, hey, here's here's the funny part. Don't tell the sheriff this because I, I, I know, right? Yeah. Me and you and, you know, a few thousand people. Um, when I was looking at, at it today to see if I could figure out how many more we had left, what did I find out on my phone? And I wasn't subscribed. Oh, that's right. You told it me. on YouTube. But right? we get you're not. Just because you're on all the time doesn't mean you should. So be subscribed. I get credit for being one of those people, right? Exactly. But uh, yeah, we need we need some more to sign up. We're going to eclipse that quarter million mark. And uh, what, what did I say today when we were looking at at it too? There's been 38 million plus views of Live on Patrol. That's amazing. Since we started. That's crazy. Join that group. And it all started because Sheriff Fletcher wanted to educate people in the aftermath of uh, the George Floyd incident as to, you know, what police do and all that. Um, Keep it up, folks. We're down to nine left. Think nine about this. Left. If you've been helped by a police officer, if you know a police officer, if you're related to a police officer, you want other people to know 
more about the job than what Hollywood puts out or what some people putting false information on the web. If you support police, if you want to learn more about police, if you want to know what's going on, make sure you subscribe. I can't tell you all the people that stop me and tell me how much they enjoy, whether they live in St. Paul, Minnesota or not. So reach out to everybody. We're so close. We're so close. Well, people learn. We, we have a chance to teach people why we make the <laughs> decisions that we do and uh, whatnot. So, um, and you know, how we, what's the legalities of why we do things a certain way. And, you know, we try to update you on what's going on. Um, so, I think Mike, the sheriff said we made it. We just got a text from Sheriff Fletcher saying thank you to all the backseaters that have reached out and put it out. We have hit 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is a significant accomplishment by all you backseaters. Thank you and welcome all new members. This is a really, really exciting time. Uh, I know that this is One going to be something you're going to appreciate and, and learn from, like Mike said. So oh, congratulations no, no. to all the backseaters Can you put my call in who help tell people to subscribe and welcome all the new people that have subscribed. Happy. I can't tell. Did he I say we still have some left? No, yeah, he said 250,000. Great job. You know, if we want to hit half a million hey, folks, keep signing keep up. Let's keep going, yeah. But today I have to congratulate you all. And for from Sheriff Fletcher, congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, it uh, means a lot to us. I remember the first day the sheriff went out and live streamed his patrol on a Friday night. And I thought he was crazy. Well, well I mean, he might have been. Yeah, but, just because but, you know what? Just I, people listen to But I, I was like, oh, no, something bad's going to happen. And then uh, there was the domestic where he... Uh, um, got popped where he got the elbow and the nose yeah. and uh, then I was really worried and uh, but it's really grown people have um, seen the things that we can do we just got he just sent us the uh, picture of the live on patrol 250,000 total yeah, subscribers Tango. that's I'm crazy I mean, I remember when we'd have a hundred people um, that were watching, and um, and the sheriff just started teaching and showing people what we do and talking to us, and um, and then Pat joined, Pat Scott, and uh, then the two of them were like Batman and Robin. Cagney and Lacey. Does that, does that make us uh, Johnny and Ed? I don't know what we are, but uh, but we're uh, Laurel and Hardy. I don't know. Well. <laughs> that, who was the skinny one? Because I'm not sure either one of us would qualify. It looks like we... I'm going to interrupt you there, but I know who would qualify. <laughs> you, you're the skinny no, one. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> According That's, to the official counter, probably, uh, who are those guys in the mason jar that uh, put all Conan stuff together? I don't know. I didn't watch that show. The official time was at 2.23 p.m. Central Time. Live on Patrol reached a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. That's just fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, Can we, we put something. that on our resume? Or something. I don't know. Like, what do you? I saw. Didn't we get uh, that little plaque for a hundred thousand that the sheriff has in his office? You know, I I don't I know enough if, about the stuff, right? I I don't either. Maybe we'll find out. But uh, here's the thing: is um, I don't care what your politics are or anything your lifestyle who you love or whatever we're all backseaters we're all 
Um, it's a good thing I got this pickup truck now instead of the Tahoe because we got to load a lot of people in here. Yeah, I tell you, it's um, you're constantly learning through life. You know, if you're if you're not learning new things, I think I think you're six feet under. And being a backseater, there's a lot of great comments and information shared by our backseaters. There's good information shared of some of the techno technological things, or why wasn't this person arrested, or why was there a ticket, or when they say, you know, the news always talks about somebody being convicted, and he could look up the 15 years of prison. They don't really understand that there is a chart, sentencing guidelines, and they always give the maximum amount without taking into consideration criminal history scores, any other plea bargaining that's done. So you learn a lot of that on Live on Patrol, and it, it can be interesting. And it, when you understand the system, you can always help to improve it. Because although it's the best criminal just, justice system in the world, it's not perfect. There's a no, lot of flaws. No. We work to make it better. Yeah, and it's... it's uh... It's up to us, you know, we have a big responsibility to make sure that we do it right and that we're, you know, acting in a just way. So, um, the, and, you know, we're making good decisions, we're treating people equitably and, um, you know, and, and helping protect the citizens that's what it's all about right is making our community safer so um and there are days people have bad time i i was talking to a guy last week after we made an arrest and this woman came up to me and she said i i don't know how you do it they're swearing at you they're trying to hurt you you're you're carefully taking them into custody they try to headbutt you and you just calm them down and you talk them down and you put them how do you do that? Well, they're citizens too. We want to help everybody. And we get some people have bad days. There are some evil people out there. But for the most part, everybody has good and bad to them. Not, nobody's all bad. No. Nobody's all good. I've learned that when I worked in the prison system. No. When you'd see parents and mothers come in and you would have an inmate there that had done some horrible things and went to prison. But then he's her son. And, 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 yeah. and the good of him, you saw the good part of him come out. And it's just, we got into law enforcement because we want to help people that need it. You want to hold people accountable for their behavior and not make excuses. Oh, they did yeah, this. Copy this red. St. Paul, um, West Central and East, and uh, Metro-wide channels, statewide channels, so if anything pops off, you will be the first to know, and uh, we, we, uh, we want to give a quick shout out and a thank you to uh, our multi-state correspondent, Jim Moody, who... Uh, Drove all the way down to uh, so that he could report on the eclipse for us. And or if, if you believe that maybe he drove out by himself and we found out and it was uh, awesome. So and I hope uh, hope my my son uh, flew down for work today down to. Uh, Nashville, and then they had to drive to Indiana, and hopefully he got to see the eclipse down there, so, um, but we certainly were a little too cloudy to see anything today, it 
didn't even get dark. No, I, you yeah. wouldn't even know that anything was going on. This is a nice little area. Yeah, so. So, I think, uh, hopefully we're something else. Exciting will happen here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's a busy to, end. Now that we got the, uh, you know, the eclipse coverage done, we got the heavy lifting done. We got the eclipse over. We oh. reached two hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Um, let's go take care of the easy stuff. Where's the crime? Yeah, where's the crime? So, the uh, hopefully. You uh, got to enjoy some basketball this weekend. I think tonight might be the men's final. Uh, um, that yesterday would be an was the women's. It would be an oxymoron to say I could enjoy basketball. Oh, really? I'm Good just. Not, I, no. I talked to my friends yesterday. We're sitting at the cigar lounge. They got a game on, and I look over, and I go, it's April. What happened to containing March Madness to... I'm not a basketball fan. To March. Yeah. And, yeah. And well, I tell since you, my daughter started playing basketball and, you know, all my kids played a little bit and, uh, but my daughter played in the high school and so we started following the women's, um, more closely. My wife's always been a basketball fan and I was rooting for Iowa because of Caitlin Clark. Um, they got beat yesterday, but uh, South Carolina is just a really good team with a lot of depth and good players, and um, it was really fun to follow. All the guys were talking about it, and, you know, you couldn't miss it. So for a guy like me who grew up with hockey, wrestling in the wintertime, they really never followed basketball, I couldn't name probably any current players. She's been on the news so yeah. much. Even Everywhere. I, yeah, I looked at the TV and said, oh, that, that's that Clark girl that everybody talks about. And they all laughed at me. So, well, it's a championship game. But they they played uh, a team that was 37-0. Uh, and 0. Yeah. The I, last I, time I, they were beat was by Iowa last year in the NCAA. Really? Uh, wow. Final Four. Yeah, and um, the... Uh, she, she came out on fire in the first quarter, and then, but um, you know, she's she's fun to watch. But there were a lot of great women uh, this year. Uh, South Carolina had Tessa Johnson, who's from St. Michael Albertville here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. UConn had Paige Becker, who I believe is from Roseville. 53 um, There's something in the St. Paul Pioneer Press. I kind of glanced at the headline this morning about a, a local girl on the winning team. Yep. So. Anyway, it was a lot of fun uh, to watch. Well, we had uh, a busy end of the week last Friday. Ugh. I say, uh, because uh, a lot of you are used to riding in the back seat of the Tahoe. Um, the Tahoe got wrecked on Friday. Yeah, but no fault of ours. No, no. So, uh, bad guy backed up at about 30 miles an hour into the Tahoe and smashed it up. And thank God uh, Sergeant Siegelstrom um, wasn't hurt. Bad guy got into custody along with another uh, one that we had been looking for but had no idea was in, the, in that car. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh there is a lot of crime being committed by a small group 
of these repeat offenders. And unfortunately, in this case, you had a suspect who the courts had sent to a psychologist that deemed him mentally incompetent to stand trial. And when that happens, community corrections no longer has authority over that. And the courts basically say, well, go home if the psychologist or psychiatrist hasn't recommended mental health institutionalization. And so that might sound good on paper, but the reality is the kid just goes back to the exact same environment that he was functioning when he committed the crimes. And we have personally seen these same kids continue to commit crimes. And the system has to change. The judge has got to order mentally incompetent, determined, violent juveniles to a mental health facility so they can get the help they need, so they, they can get the treatment they need instead of just sending them home with no treatment, no follow-up. It's, it's a sad, frustrating cycle, and we're working to try to get the legislature and community corrections uh, has been trying to work with us and help us on this. It's a team effort. Uh, we, we've got to do more than just say, well, you know, send them home. But that isn't working. And people no. are being victimized. And so we have to take the next step. And the child is going without the services he needs. Yeah, it's, uh, we can't, can't intervene with them until they are after their, uh, you know, after they've been apprehended or, you know, or they're not going to be on our radar until something bad happens. 4450, clear report. But then, you know, we get a very limited window to intervene with them. So, and if we don't, that if we just say, ah, it's all right, it's a phase he's going through, or... You know, he, he, you know, he's not a serious, uh, 31 year old male, suicidal ideation. I don't know. I, we, we should take some kind of a poll as to, you know, do you want, uh, to actually see my sorry dancing, my horrible, uh, dance, or would you rather uh, I take you on a tour from my 25 years at Minneapolis? Take you on a tour of Minneapolis one day and show you uh, some of the places where I had uh, was involved in incidents, either. Uh, um, some funny, some critical, some traumatic. Um, so, gotta see what uh, what you guys think. I might. I, you can always see my dancing. Um, it's. Uh, I don't know. My assistant here is really screwing up the computer. Point where, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, it must have been the sun flares <laughs> or something. So, no, I, I fixed it. Sorry, pushed the wrong button. So, we'll, uh, I'm thinking a much more valuable educational experience might be the tour. Saying dancing or a tour, the dancing will be a very sorry. I was told once that by. Uh, someone that my dancing style would be called the white man grimace. Ooh. Yeah, which is basically. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking you. Straight into. You had the Steve. gimme style. What was that dance that the Korean guy was doing? Oh, the Gangnam style. Gangnam style. You know that caught Ooh, on. I, I don't. Uh, what the heck? What kind of term was that? The lady who I don't know. I, I just think that person's not paying attention. Both? Oh man, that's 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 pushing it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you might start a trend. There might be doing the Martin, the, the, mi the mighty Martin, mighty Mike. 
The mighty mic dance. Oh, you guys should really talk to my wife. She'll tell you no. <laughs> it was not my dancing skills that attracted her to me. I see uh, it was probably Jerry Taylor wants to see dancing. She's got an awful lot of exclamation points on there. Oh, yeah. oh I just, I'm just i glad we reached the 250,000 mark. So I got to get over that excitement first. Um, people are saying they want both. People are very demanding. What is that? It's like, I, you know. The tour. I the think M and M dance. Fun. I didn't know there was such a thing. No, I don't know. What do they? What do the M and M's dance like? Oh, they want Mighty Mike dance with his wife. Oh, with my wife. Chances of that, I'm gonna say, are about a minus ten. <laughs> no. Minus ten. <laughs> Accident, maybe Rilo, Rilo thinks the tour would be good. I think maybe me, the sheriff, and the rev should dance. Well, there you go. I don't know. How about the entire cat team dancing together? Oh, now that would be kind of fun as long as I just don't like those when the cops do like that. Yeah. Dances. This would just be a one time the ramp. Um, You could have uh, Bob could be the conductor, kind of like, and now you're going to have to be old to recognize this name. Kind of like Lawrence Welk. You could be wonderful, wonderful. That's, uh, I'm having flashbacks to when I was a little kid. The champagne bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the cat team. Wow. Oh, wow. Somebody saying hi to the Rev. Okay, so so here's the deal. Since I think it would be a letdown just to see me dance, we'll get the whole cat team someday. And oh, Wendy says, give me a Saturday night broadcast with Mike. Oh, Saturday night broadcast. Prior court. Like Cindy says cars. we could call the dance the sheriff shuffle. Tried leaving in a vehicle. Ooh, I like that. Stood in front of the vehicle. There, caller's now at the Are there any good sheriff songs? And I not I shot the sheriff because that's depressing. That would not be a good song um, to be dancing. No, to. and I'd, I'd, I'd get send the wrong message. I'd get demoted too. Yeah. Probably. Well, well, we we would um, we wouldn't let you near him. Are there any gone. other songs with the sheriff? We could not. Uh, there's uh, the Rock and the Casbah. Who sang that? The with the but but that Sharif don't like it. Westbound on Maryland here. It is extremely quiet right now. But there is the Brad Paisley, Mr. Policeman song. Brad I don't know that one. I don't think there's the weight of the badge. I think that's George Strait. Huh. Paisley song, while it's humorous and entertaining, uh, it highlights the dedication of police officers to their duty. That'd oh, be more, all right. more well, fitting that than sounds right. I shot the sheriff. <laughs> you know, when I was a rookie at Minneapolis, my very first day, I went into roll call and I sat in the back row, of course. Yeah. And uh, the veterans came in and said, hey, boot. No, rookies sit up in the front. So I had to move up to the front. And then I learned that the tradition was you had to read this children's book called I Want to Be a Police Officer. Oh, you're kidding me. So I had to read the book aloud uh, to the veteran officers in the roll call. Were they cheering you on? 
Uh, not really. Okay. No. <laughs> um, they were staring. Right after he won. Uh, which was pretty intimidating. Now, mind you, at that time, most of them were Vietnam veterans yeah. or um, grizzled old police veterans, and they were pretty intimidating to start with. And, but it was a little embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as. Uh, accidentally handcuffing myself to the handicap rail in the Pizza Hut um, when I was FTO and I had a <laughs> set of cuffs hanging on the back of my belt and I backed into the handicap rail and it spun around Yep. and handcuffed me to the rail and then when I went to pull the other end out of the back of my pants it spun around and on my gun belt. <laughs> so I was hand, handcuffed to the handicap rail at the Pizza Hut while my FTO sat out waiting to order food. That Pizza Hut's no longer there. 22nd Lake, it's now uh, Pineda Tacos. And uh, I think there's a cell phone business in there. But, uh, hmm. Pretty quiet. quiet. I, I gotta think they all hear you're out here, Mike, and they just don't want to be quiet. No, it's probably you. You pushed them over the top. Did we just jinx ourselves? Yeah, we did. Yeah, probably. Did. Use the Q word. Yeah. So, yeah, so do that. Yeah. Unless, of course, it's that or normally what will happen is if I'm someplace quiet, not a lot going on, I'll light up a cigar and I'll darn it if it doesn't kick off and then I can't finish the cigar and, and we end up doing it. Yes. So there's some construction going on here. They're uh, building a um, rec center there. Oh. Like the Frog Town Rec Center. Right there on Rice and Lawson, that'll be nice. Yeah, and, um, the, uh, the sad part is there were two baseball fields under that. Mm. Um, but I, I used to see kids in the summer practicing baseball there. You ever eaten here at Mama's Pizza? Oh, it's the best. Uh, wow. Well, Tony, Tony has great service, great dedicated businessmen to the city. You know, his place has been driven through by cars, he's had fires, and he comes back. It's, uh, I think it's only takeout now. Yeah, since the pandemic, he's only takeout. I think he's open. You have to check the website. I think it's like 4 in the afternoon to 8 at night. Um, and people love him, and they love his pizza so much that just those hours a day are... Busy, 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 yeah, it's, and he, it's just a great. Uh, it's awesome food. Yeah. If you've never had it, I it made the top fifty pizza places in the country. Doesn't surprise me. Um, and I think Grandma started it, and then oh, Mom really? had it. Now Tony has it. Yeah, it's super nice people. There are some really great people who own businesses and are really committed to this. We have Tom Reed runs Tom Reed's Pub, great sports bar on West 7th. You got Dave Cassetta. You got Pat over at McGovern's. You got John and, and Pat, Pat Mancini. Mancini. I mean, yeah. see, I'm just naming you off the tip of the iceberg of these oh. great committed businessmen who really love the city and they try to do everything they can to keep the city vibrant, safe. Uh, they, they really care. They do. It's, uh, I'll tell you what, too, that's the key to uh, a thriving community is to have good food where people will come and eat there from other areas, to have businesses uh, thriving and a uh, safe environment. Um, so let me test you, Mike. You've been working uh -oh. here now, what, five years? Oh, geez, yeah. Have you had chicken wings from St. Paul, from a St. Paul location. Brunson's. 
good, really good oh, chicken wings. Yeah, rings. I'm not gonna um, argue with you there. Matt, uh, Cora's. What? Another good spot. Cora's, um, yeah, Hick good. Hickory Hut. There you go. There, uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> big wings. The dry rub is what I love, but they also, I'm telling you, they, they're, they're great. They're great places to go for wings down here. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. And uh, I'm not a big wing guy, but any of those will do it for me. So, folks, I, I, I uh, the exciting news uh, you've got. Thousand members today. We've got Acting Sergeant Joe Kill back to the office today. Oh yeah, well, we didn't even mention that yet. It's just been so many great things happening. But that I tell you, I love that guy. Oh, He's yeah. got such a positive personality, and he is one of the, one of the very sharp coppers we got at the sheriff's department. He is skilled. He is vibrant. He puts things together, he connects the dots, he he is, it was really unfortunate what happened to him, I'm so happy he survived it, uh, he's recuperated, and uh, back, back on the job, it's really good news. Yeah, the, um, uh, just, it's so awesome to have him back, and, you know, he, for those of you who don't know, he was shot, um, what, about a month ago? Yep. And, uh, while chasing a, a car, uh, they stopped and a uh, suspect got out the driver's side window. And Why it was rolling? While it was rolling and shot into Deputy Kill's car and one of the rounds went through the hood, the dashboard, and hit him in the uh, right shoulder, like the clavicle area. So, um, I think well, his vest took the stopped the bullet from penetrating him but it did give a heck of a punch to those nerves. Oh yeah. So we're just so lucky to have him back and have his sense of humor. We are westbound on University now at Marion. The world's uh, famous McDonald's that looks like a bank because I think it used to it be. was a bank. <laughs> I think it was a TCF, and and you know, oh, they have remodeled it twice. It still has that shape, but uh, yeah, we've got a lot of culture restaurants down here. You can get anything from uh, Mr. Steak to Vietnamese to Hmong. Um, there's just why do we always talk about food? Uh, we're foodies. Because we're foodies? We are foodies. We Is love food. Is that what food. it means when you eat a lot? Yeah. Or is that well, you know, <laughs> when we're sad, we eat. That's when we're true. happy, we celebrate and we eat. That's true. Uh, what on here? Saiga. Oh, on the south side of the university. Yep. And uh, there's just so many good places down here. Whether you want Hmong, uh, Latino food, Ethiopian, Somali, there's a little bit of Indian food. You know, America's the melting pot, and University Avenue in St. Paul is full of all different cultures. Everybody gets along. It's, uh, it's a great example and great food, and it's it's a safe place to come. Yeah, the light the light rail greatly affected the area. It, yeah. it, it, it took away a lot of parking. Uh, you know where the stops are are critical for businesses, it, and it has created a situation where some small time businesses could not maintain because of the, the the results of light rail, and their buildings were bought out, and then high density residential areas were built, apartments, right. condos, uh, increasing the population down here so that you've got more foot traffic in the area of the station. You think they're uh, watching live on patrol over there? 
Uh, I'm sure the driver's not, because that would be illegal. That's, but the passenger They're just probably banging is. on their phones. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the phones have really captured. Uh, I can't imagine. There's the hickory, There's the hickory hut. hut. Yeah. It's great. Great Art chicken songs. wings. It's, if you've ever had Art Song's wings, I have. Over uh, Minneapolis, had we used to eat there a lot. Probably should have, <laughs> but at that time I was in younger and better shape, and I think the alcohol helped clear it out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> you don't drink it anymore, do you? No, not at all. said they were in Ham Lake and they saw a glimpse of the eclipse. That's cool. We should have gone to Ham Lake. Oh, yeah. We're, we're always a dollar late and a day short when it comes to the eclipse. You know, I don't know if any of you uh, ever listened to Joe Sushri. Uh, it's a running joke. He's usually a day late on, hey, there's going to be an eclipse. I want to go out and watch it. No, Joe, that was yesterday. <laughs> Well, we'll just go to the next one. There you go. In 2045. Um, let's see. We'll be... Oh, shoot. Yeah. Old. Old. I'll be... Uh, Hopefully, I'll still be alive. I'll be 86. So you'll right. be younger than me. We'll plan our trip right now. Yeah. We could probably get a good hotel room. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. We should probably schedule early. And, uh, I'm going to rent a couple of scooters for us. Oh, sweet. Like, like, mobility scooters. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes I didn't mean a Vespa. Oh. I meant a <laughs> three wheel with a seat belt, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, by then, you know, maybe we'll be retired down south somewhere where we, we can. Yeah. Tell you how much fun it is to be doing what we are. Yeah, I get asked all the time, "When are you going to pull the pin? When are you going to retire?" And uh, I, I just say, when I physically can't do what I need to do, the job done, or it's not fun anymore, right? Or the yeah. shop and get out. I'm staying. That's not gonna happen. But uh, I see all the time. Why would I retire when he yeah. lets me work on doing reducing violent crime, uh, tracking down repeat offenders, that carjacking and auto theft stuff? It's, it's a dream job, and uh, we have some of the best. 
best cops in the world working with us. Uh, you know, uh, for people that are in a situation where they're working for bosses that forgot why they became cops. And I, I've been there. Yeah. Where it's all about their image, their, you know, ooh, I'm in the 50 most, you know, talented leaders in the country. You know, give me a break. You can't, couldn't lead yourself out of a paper bag, most of them, and and now they're irrelevant, right? The minute yeah. they retire, because people know how they really are. Yeah. The ones that are still asked for their opinions and, uh, you know, are consulting and working, those are the ones I respect. I've been very fortunate in my career. I had this, the great fortune to work for three geniuses. I mean, really Mensa geniuses. And Frank Wood, Minnesota Department of Corrections, a genius when it comes to running corrections. You read the paper this weekend about the problems the prisons are having, uh, the issues that they're trying to deal with. Frank Wood had cleaned up a problem facility. Frank Wood became Commissioner of Corrections and at one time 10 of the warden of the Minnesota Department of Corrections facilities had all Okay. Wood, okay. Benson, and, and, and Fletcher. And when I've worked for this, it is when it became so apparent to me what it's like to work for, for a genius when, when you lose them, right? Right. right. And, yeah. um, they, oh, I, exactly what you're saying. I mean, at many apps, so many cops, uh, John Lennon really, uh, well, truly cared. And uh, they, uh, those people are super refreshing to work for. Yeah, you know, sometimes the young guys forget the work, the sacrifice, the dedication was made by those that went before them that have made things easier for them today. Yeah. I mean, I know what it was like when I first got involved, but Mike, we're sitting right now, we have... We're broadcasting live. We have a MDC in the car. We're seeing every dispatch crime, where it's occurring. We have maps of the location. We can run criminal. What was in your squad car the first day you got in? Uh, vinyl. <laughs> that you'd slide off of if you hit the brakes. Uh, a shotgun under in a scabbard under the front seat of the squad um, and a mobile data terminal where they could send one line of text green to you yeah it was green <laughs> like that dot matrix look yeah and um, a radio I'm trying to think of that was about it we didn't have first aid equipment we didn't have Lethals. Um, those shotguns were 870 pumps. Did you have in camera cars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, but uh, you know, it's, it's amazing how technology has changed the job. Um, and uh, 
unfortunately, I worked for some great FTOs who helped me learn how to get information by making phone calls, which um, we didn't have cell phones either. But they, uh, you can check out a portable cell phone that was basically a box. If you were in one of the citywide cars or you were a supervisor, and I learned how to call DVS, I learned how to call warrants, I learned how to, you know, do stuff that, that you wouldn't ordinarily do, but it's changed a lot. Bill Finney, one of our under past chief of police of St. Paul, the last 12 year chief of St. Paul. Uh, no one's served two terms since him. Uh, City Council of St. Paul, School Board of St. Paul, Under Sheriff at the Sheriff's Department. Uh, he talked about they would have a key when he started. And you would go to a box and you would unlock the key, the box, and you would call in to see if there's any calls for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then when radio started coming out, some guys would have a transistor radio and they would play with the transistor a little bit and they could actually get the police calls on the radio, but you weren't supposed to do that. Right. Well, we're gonna call it uh, a day here because it's dead and we reached our mark and uh, of 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. And uh, I, I really appreciate everybody who subscribed today so that we could reach that mark. Um, we will, I'll do the tour of Minneapolis, but. On a Saturday? We could do it on a Saturday. I'll come out with you if you want. Um, just add another broadcast for the week. And, uh, because we do want to thank you. I'll consider the dance thing, but I might have to stretch out and get <laughs> some, you know. I I think it'd be better if we got some of the younger guys to participate. I totally agree. And, and I'm sure they'd be willing to do it if we ordered them. And <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. They're, they're, they don't rank. They don't all rank as we. <laughs> yeah, so. We could tie it into right, physical yeah, fitness yeah. and well-being. Yeah, there you go. But before we go, I do want to re reiterate the, how grateful we are and thankful for the work you did to get people to sign up and thank you who have signed up and welcome you to Live on Patrol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just remember, be kind. We, we want you to be kind to each other and think about the fact that everyone you meet has is fighting internal battles that you don't know anything about. So uh, be nice to them. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. I kind of stifled them on the uh, the dance thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll give you it to them. You came up with it. I'll give it to them. But Like a bingo board and some commentary that takes over the screen. You're on a page that's basically hijacked our uh, live stream. That is is some people that uh, are detractors of the sheriff's office who have taken over uh, the feed. As the sheriff said uh, earlier, on watching us on YouTube. If you are watching us on YouTube, I, I've had a couple people say to me that there is a uh, like a bingo board and some commentary that takes over the screen. If that happens when you're on YouTube, you're on the wrong link. That is, is some people that uh, are detractors of the sheriff's office who have taken over uh, the feed. So, so block that, uh, that feed and go back to Live on Patrol Ramsey County. You will see 
um, the link when we are live and go to that one um, because you have a bad link and you're on a page that's basically hijacked our uh, live stream. Lauderdale. 